All right, so welcome back here, everybody. And in our last lesson here, what we're going to go ahead and do is just basically do some um, final texturing. We're going to go ahead and texture our eye and also apply the shaders here to our body and our eye. So with everything that we've already done, I've already gone ahead and um, pre-exported the UV maps here. Also, you can see that we have our texture, our ambient occlusion map. Uh, the eye texture that we're going to use. We also have our source art here. And I'm going to include all this stuff in the project for um, files for you guys. So what I want to go ahead and do here is just jump into Photoshop. And I am just simply grabbing the textures for the body here as well as the UV map. And I'm going to go ahead and open Photoshop here real quick. And I'm just going to simply take the body UV map our color map I'm gonna go ahead and just drag the UV map on top of our color map here and I will simply set the wires here to screen so that I can see through them okay just double click the background to unlock it gonna take our ambient occlusion map and you can see where the inside portion of the mouth has turned black and that's fine okay so we'll go ahead and bring that over here uh, I'm going to go ahead here and set the layer to multiply. And I think I just need to adjust this a little bit here. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer real quick. And I'm just going to simply draw out a form here so that I can actually color the inside portion of the mouth and I just want to make sure that I don't select any part of the fin there and I might actually have to adjust that a little bit so okay we'll go ahead and just simply fill this and we'll just simply select the color here and I'm not going to turn it a massive pink. I want to turn it at least a, a little bit, you know, a little bit lighter shade there. So we'll go ahead and fill that. Okay. So now we have our body texture pretty much done. And if you want, you can always, you know, take the body map, maybe turn the saturation up a little bit. Um, depending upon, you know, how you want your your actual color to look. Okay, so we'll just simply go ahead and turn off our wire map here. We're going to go ahead and save this as our creature body texture. We want to save this as a PSD so that we can edit it later if we need to. Then we'll also go ahead here and save it as a JPG or JPEG. And we will just simply overwrite the... Um, wire map here okay let's go ahead and also bring in our eye texture wire and I'm just going ahead and doing that okay so we'll just come in here and take the actual eye texture oops just drag that over to our UV coordinates just bring it down here and I'm going to change the layer opacity here just a little bit so I can see through okay and I'm just trying to make sure that this is in the middle of that UV so that whenever I scale it up it's going to scale uniformly and it's all going to match properly so we'll go ahead and just scale this up real quick okay And it looks like it might be off just a little bit here. Okay. So we'll go ahead and turn the opacity full up there. Go ahead and create another layer. This is going to be our background, which is going to be our white layer. You don't necessarily have to name it if you don't want to. We'll just simply go ahead and color this. And it's just going to be white. Okay, so now you can see where that matches. And we also have our eye texture here. Go ahead and save this as our creature eye texture. 
and you can see that I'm saving it as a PSD so if I need to make changes to it I can go ahead and do that pretty quick so we'll go ahead and also save this as a JPEG okay we will jump back to Maria here jump into our hyper shade and we just simply need to go ahead and create two materials here since we use V-Ray here at work um, I'm just simply going to go ahead and create two V-Ray materials real quick um, we're not necessarily going to do anything you know spectacular in terms of the actual in terms of like something like you know subsurface scattering or anything we're just simply going to use a standard shader here so I'm going to drag in the body texture and also the eye texture here okay go ahead and separate these plug them into the diffuse color slots okay I will go ahead and apply these here so we'll go ahead and select the body assign the material hit six and just to take a look and see what it looks like here okay that looks fine just as I um, wanted okay we'll go ahead and apply our eyes texture here and his eyes look really good there and those might actually have to yeah it's gonna have to get scaled down at least a little bit um, because I really want it to be on the middle line here I don't want it to be on the um, like outside line here so I just need to make sure that I select this edge and I just want to double check to where this edge actually is okay so I'll just jump back to Photoshop here turn back on my wireframe okay go ahead and turn the opacity down for that and turn the other layer off so I can see here so we'll just go ahead and select this go ahead and scale this down okay turn our white layer back on turn our opacity basically just back up here go ahead and resave this is our JP JPEG file here go ahead and just overwrite everything basically just minimize I'm going to move my UV editor offline there. And we're going to go ahead and turn off the quadratic there. Oops. We're going to go ahead and reload this. And there you go. You can see where the eye texture snaps into place there. So both eyes are now um, good. So what we want to go ahead and do is just select the, the actual shader here. Turn the reflection color to white. We're going to go ahead and turn the amount down here to something like point. Uh, I think it's 150 that I've used in the past. We'll just turn the reflection subdivisions up here to like 20. And that's going to be it for pretty much our eye shader. Let's go ahead and do something for our body map here. You can see that I have a reflection map pretty high. Um, excuse me, white there. And we're going to turn the glossiness down here so that it looks like he's actually wet and I might actually have to change that down a little bit more okay so I think that that's good so that's um, pretty much it for modeling a sea creature inside of Maya and ZBrush um, I definitely want to give a big thanks out to Ben Tate to Chris Tate and the rest of the guys over at CG Touch Plus I also want to give a big thanks to Philippe Laurentino, who uh, let me use his concept art to create the model and the tutorial for you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. Um, definitely keep an eye on the website for uh, more work to come. So, thanks a lot.